Hey everyone, welcome to Quasar's Customs. I am Hearst Quasar, and yeah, this is the Mad Max machine. You know, this is probably one of the first mods I had ever seen in the workshop. Um, this is Gollywog's uh, Interceptor. It was an MFP Interceptor. And um, probably the first one of the first mods I'd ever seen. Um, and I didn't download it. I don't know why I didn't download it. It's because, you know, it's... I don't know. It's it was a Mad Max car, and back when you know the mods were starting to first hit the um, hit the workshop, I was like, yeah, you know, I want real cars. So um, I apologize to Gollywog for not downloading this sooner. Um, this is uh, a great looking car. Um, this is actually the first time I've built one. So your guess is going to be as good as mine as far as how this is going to play out. Um, so yeah, Mad Max. How many movies have you seen of Mad Max? I, I think I've seen... Uh, let's see. Uh, I think there was at least three of them. I think the third one was Beyond Thunderdome, right? With uh, uh, Tina Turner. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I think it was three. At least I've seen at least three of them. Um, if there was any others, I may not have seen those. Uh, I don't know when these movies came out, but I, I do remember that, um, you know, they, they were like some of my favorite movies. They're just, you know, the guys are looking like they come right out of South Philly. Um, okay, South Street in Philadelphia, um, coming out of a, uh, wait, why aren't you coming off? Okay, there we go. Um coming out of a uh, oh what is that movie jeez anyway um yeah so guys are looking all freaky got some freaky looking cars i mean some <laughs> things that look like they're just they're bastages of um cars i mean um one movie i think it was like like two cadillacs piled one on top of another with a. Uh, um, tractor, uh, like tractor tires on the back of it. Now, I'm not talking tractor uh, trailer tires. I am talking, you know, like a John Deere tractor tires on the back of it. Oh, yeah. So, it's some crazy stuff. And, you know, these Mad Max movies, they're not really too far off of what actually could possibly happen to us. I mean, um, think about it this way. Those are not taking off very easily. Um, oh, okay. Let's see if those will... Let's see if the exhaust pipes will... Oh, this isn't going to be good. Because I pulled this out of the junkyard and, man, it's just it's, it's just horrible. And we have the option of either going uh, with the full brand new... Well, no, it's got the stuff in the back of it. So if Gollywog uh, ever revisits this, maybe he'll have a, you know, like the new Interceptor look and then the Mad Max Interceptor look. That would be, um, be kind of cool. Uh, all right, I know I've got myself way off track here of what I was talking about. Um, Mad Max movies. Um, awesome movies. And, like, here recently we've had um, the issues with the oil prices and all. Um, telling you what, you know, back in, what was it, the late 70s, early 70s? When was that? Um I think there was like a gas war to the point to where, you know, people were lined up at gas stations trying to get gas, and um, it was it was ridiculous. I remember I remember that. Um, so I can I can see, you know, something like this happening in the future. I mean, seriously. Um, I don't know how many of those I need, or those I do need both of those. Yeah, see, I started talking. I forgot everything that I was trying to do here. Um, leaf springs. I think I need both of these as well. Uh, four small bushings. So, of all the Mad Max movies, what is your favorite? Throw them down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what your favorite is. Um, honestly, for me... Um, I really think, I think the first one was it for me. I mean, I really liked the very first one. 
um, I guess you know his family gets his family gets uh, killed and um, he just goes on a rampage. Hey, who wouldn't, right? Uh, let's see, B drive axle. Uh, All right. Um, let's see. I I really like the. Way, do I have a fender on the front of that? Um, let's see. What size? Uh, what size tire do I have? Yeah, I got a case. Uh, I was working on some some things in between episodes. Been trying to find some cars. I have, think I've found everything except for one vehicle that uh, for my movie or TV cars and then I'm gonna have to move on to something else of course I've got uh, a few of the Fast and Furious 9 cars that I still need to do um, I haven't done those yet oh that's a size 14 really really hmm. um, yeah I think I'm gonna go slightly larger with that that's that's uh See, let's see if we can find our wheels here. These right here. And these are pretty close to what they have. So it doesn't matter either one because... See, this is from 40. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to get these because they're cheaper. Um, we're going to go with a set of 15s. Um, we'll get four 15s. How's that? Let's go ahead and paint these bad boys up. So how is everyone doing? I hope this video is finding everyone doing fine. Um, I am doing just dandy. <laughs> um, I don't know what else you can say about it. Uh, everything's going well, though. Seriously. Um, working from home is getting to be a pain in the butt. And I think you've heard me from several videos before. You know, hey, working working from home is not all that's cracked up to be. I'm sure people are like, "Oh man, I'd be great to work from home." And yeah, it's 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 it has its distractions and it doesn't really work out that great. So yeah, no, it doesn't work. Okay, man, this this thing looks like it's just. What are you? Hmm. Um. Yeah, this thing's worse for wear. Uh, 26560, huh? So 265, 60. 265, 60. We're going to go with these. I am going to go with the 265, and I am going to go with a 55 profile, because I did up the... I did up the... Let's see. Hang on. Let me think. I upped the tire size, so hmm. I think. Well, no, I'll I'll stick with the sixty. I think I'm going to stick with the sixty, and hopefully that is going to work out. Oh, did I pick two of those up? Damn. I don't remember. Yeah, I got two. Okay, great. Yeah, that'll work out. Is that wide enough? I don't really think... I, I'll have to take a look at this, because this... Okay, another one of... Another one of her crazy antics. Um, trying to get the wheels set up. So, let's get the fuel tank. Uh, fuel tank... And a fuel pump. Yeah, baby. I mean, this is like maxes, you know? So, yeah, Mel Gibson. You know, I was going to... Uh, I was trying to find it. Uh, you remember the Lethal Weapon movies, right? Um, yeah, I was trying to find... Um, I was hoping we had a GMC mod in the... Uh, in the workshop but we we don't i was looking for a gmc uh one of those four-door you know three-quarter ton uh gmc uh trucks that 
Mel Gibson used in Lethal Weapon to, um, he like attached his truck to the, the foundation of this house that's up on the hill and starts, you know, trying to pull it, pull the stilts out from underneath this house. And he finally does it, but I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. And I don't, I can't think of any other cars that were in that movie that I could definitely pull off into the car series. That's for sure. Um, I haven't seen one yet. Um, do I have one in here? Yeah. Okay, we're going to see how this plays out. Is it thick enough? Is it wide enough? Ooh. Yeah, I think it's... Well, no. I could think... I think this... Yeah, it's... Probably about as wide... Man, I've got some... You could really go in there a little bit farther. But I think the outside is cool. I think that'll work. Uh, uh, where am I going? <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, I think these wheels would be alright. I think I could probably narrow the track up a little bit on this and put a wider stance, a wider wheel, uh, a wider tire on the back of it, but um, I'm not going to get into all that right now. We're just going to get Max's car built back up. Now, I do have a couple of liveries. Um, I think one that comes with the car, I think Gullywog has, um, in the pack. And there's one by French Toast that I also downloaded. So uh, we'll take a look at those when we, once we hit the paint shop and see which ones we like. And we'll slap it together and throw it in the parking lot. All right, yeah, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm, I am mean, yeah, it could go a little bit wider. But as far as the way it should stick out, that's probably about where it should be, looking at the model of the car. So, I'm thinking that's pretty close. And why do I have two drive shafts? No idea why. Um, all right. Um, all right, let's uh, start taking this apart. So I wonder what Gullywog thinks. This is like his one of his first mods, I think, that he threw out there on the workshop. I wonder what he thinks that you know what he what this one was as compared to like one of his latest ones, like the Corvette. Um, you know, how does it compare? Um, I would think you know as as someone who does. Uh, modeling like that I would think that the, you know as they crafted their skill a little bit more um, the more the more uh, experience they have the better the mod so you would probably say that the Corvette mod is probably ten times better than this mod maybe I don't know let's see here can we get that no no nope, we'll get that I see how it's set up though I mean yeah, why not? You know, now that I'm thinking about it, is it Beyond Thunderdome was like, isn't, was it the third one? I'm sitting here thinking I'm second guessing myself. Of course, I should have looked all this stuff up before I jumped online, but I got so excited when I found this car. I pulled it into the garage and said, "All right, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit the record button and go." And guess what? Ah, uh, yeah, it sucks. That's all right. And like I said, I've got a few cars left. Uh, not many left for the um, movie car series. So, if you can think of one that I have not already done, um. And the car is in the workshop. Please, by all means, uh, let me know. And I will jump on it. I will download it. Um, the only one that I've had a couple people ask me about was the the, Bat the Batmobile. Well, I don't know. I like movie cars. And I don't know. It, it, nothing against the modern. Just that you know, I'm not a big fan of the Batmobile. Just don't like it. Now. The 60s Batmobile? Hey, I'm on board for that. That's, how, how silly is that of me? But, uh, yeah, not the, not the newer ones, no. I'm just, uh, just not a fan.
just not a fan at all. All right, uh, we are back at it here. Um, I think I need one cylinder and one caliper. Suspension, uh, we're just going to go through the motions here because we know just about what we need. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to need um, a lot more because this thing is a piece of crap. Um, considering how many pieces... Considering how many pieces uh, didn't get repaired on the rear end, I'm sure I'm going to have a ass load on this one. Uh, brakes. Let's dump out all the old parts. There we go. Head over to the suspension. See, I've got, you know, pieces like that that are going to be horrible. And the wheel hubs. It's, it's crap like that because this thing's been sitting in the junkyard for so long. It's actually starting to rot away. All right, wheel hubs, uh, front axle hub cover, and a bottom suspension arm. So, um, bottom suspension arm, front knuckle cover, uh, front wheel hubs times two, and an uppers, upper suspension arm, an upper. Sound like a drug dealer. Speaking of which, have you seen the new game that just hit Steam? Drug Dealer Simulator. What? <laughs> it's, you've got to be freaking kidding me. What kind of crap is that? Teaching people how to be drug dealers or something? What the hell? <sighs> just not. I'm not on board with it. I am not on board. Okay, we got those pieces. What, what is our front wheels looking like here? Uh, 245 50s. So, yeah, okay, 245 I can do that. Okay, 245. This is a 50, right? Yeah. Take a pair of those. Thank you. Painted up all nice and black. Got my spring. And was that the only pieces of my suspension that I needed? Um, I'll get rid of the axle cover. Uh, you know, I think it is. Get rid of those. Don't need them. I get this. Yeah, I get the spring. Oof, man, busy, busy day in the Quasar garage, huh? We've got a lot of things coming on. I've got the, once I jump off of here, I'm going to jump on over and hit my other garage and knock, knock one of those out as well. Um, plus, like I said, I've got, I've got a few... Uh, Fast and Furious 9 cars yet to get through the garage for sure. So for all you guys out there, is Mel Gibson one of your top actors that you like to watch? Yes or no? Um, for me... I think he is. Um, I, I I liked him in all the Lethal Weapon movies, um, hands down. I uh, liked him in Patriot. That was an awesome movie. Um, Mad Max movies, of course. Um, there was a, another one. Uh, oh, jeez. What was the name of that movie? Um... Can't think. I can't think of the name of the movie. 
But it's like these people were after him for some reason, and he was always payback. I think the, I think the movie's called Payback. Ah uh-huh, yeah, that is actually probably one of my favorite Mel Gibson movies is Payback. Um, just I, I I remember I was I was traveling around one time and it happened to be on HBO, and I you know I just kicked it on. I saw it was Mel Gibson was on. I was like, oh okay, let me just see, check this out. And the movie had me. Um, had me sucked in because I was I was gaming and I was just kind of like half-heartedly watching it and then the next thing I know I'm sitting on the bed and I'm I'm checking this movie out so you know it pulled me away from gaming so that's got to be a pretty good movie if you hadn't seen that I'd say check that out being in quarantine though this would be a good time for a Mad Max movie marathon. All right, the brakes are on. Get those all smoothed up. I got another tire over here. Yeah, and when you know when Gullywog put this out, you could not paint the rims back then. Couldn't paint the rims, and you didn't have any. I I don't think you had any performance parts either, to be honest with you. Um, okay, so that's all done. That's all done. Let's drop her down. So this, oh, you know, I should have taken the, should have took a, should have taken the transmission off. Okay, no front end. What other pieces do we have here? Any of this back here? Whew, man, this car has not got a lot. Um, okay, so take that out. Um, get ourselves let's get ourselves some interior pieces well I already hit that so I might as well let's see this I think it says MFP if I can search for MFP I think I can probably find it MFP yes no yes all right so all of these I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get the whole Kit and caboodle. Um, some of the pictures aren't loaded. That's fine. And oh, 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 oh. We need some interior pieces. Uh, we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with. Uh, let's go with. Let's, let's go with some racing seats. Max needs some racing seats and a racing steering wheel. Um, I'm not sure if this has two seats in it, but uh, oh, I guess just the one. I am so wrong with that. Okay, so that's done. We'll just fix everything up. Yeah, those, I don't think you can paint those. Thought you guys were going to look at this and go, man, I need to redo that. <laughs> uh, let's see, that comes off. Um, come on. We want the good one. Yeah. All right, so I think I've got all the pieces on here. Um, the welder to work and the interior cleaner. Now, if it wasn't for this stuff back here, I would go with the, you know, the super clean um, cop car look that Max had at the very beginning of the movie. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have that option.
<laughs> now I should have done this while I was underneath here the first go round. All right, do I happen to have to make to speed up this process? Do I happen to have? Let's see here. Do I have any two gearboxes? Let's see. Go with blocks. Blocks. Um, no, I've got a V6. It's the only piece I've got. Hmm. And, um, I noticed this. May hang on. It says rear window, but it doesn't tell me. Don't know which one it is. Okay, let's see if it, are we 100% on the global body? That's probably because of the license plate, right? Rear license plate. Yep. All right. Let's pull this hunk of junk out because this looks horrible. Jeez. All right. Um, what do we have in here to deal with? Battery and just a radiator. I might as well just. Buy a new radiator because that sucks. Oh, what? We don't have a break. Okay. <sighs> yeah, and I'm just going to buy a radiator. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother. Yeah, I put the 15 inch wheels on there. Um, I think they look pretty good. I think it looks uh, pretty decent. Give me your comments down below. To let me know what you think. Um, okay, let's see. It. Okay, there we go. All right, so Max's machine um, only comes with the two carb. So. Um, let's dump some of this crap out of my inventory. Um, rear left window A. You know, and I thought it was these windows, but it's not. It's, I thought it was these windows right here, but it's not. So maybe I'm missing something. Those don't have any windows. Um... Am I missing something? No. I don't think I am. Alright, so... <clears throat> I'm just going to delete them because they weren't... List... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. They weren't listed. Oh, my... Listed. Damn pushing. Shit. Yeah, you heard me. I missed the bushing. Right there she is. Right there. Alright. Um, you can go down. Alright, let's stop dilly dally in. Um, let's build an engine here. Uh, was it back here? No. Right there it is. Two carbs supercharged. Alright. So. Uh... Here we go, right? Um, I probably will not be able to get all these in one shot. It's been a while since I've built one of these. So, I will be doing my best here. Um, cam gear, or do we have a cam gear overhead? Yep, cam gear overhead cam. Um, cams in... Uh, clip A, don't need those. Clip B, need two of those. Um, overhead valve crank. One of those. Three of those. Crankshaft pulley. Engine block, engine block. Scanning through here as quickly as I can. Need head covers. 
That's A. That's B. Headers I'm going to get from the performance shop. Fuel filter, the same. Don't need a fuel rail. Already have those. Don't need uh, idler arms or ignition. Um, or the wires. All that is coming over there. Um, intake manifolds. We need to get... Um, didn't see it in there. Overhead valve. Uh... Oil pan, piston rings, eight. Power string pump will get over there. Uh, fan we're gonna need. 16 of the rocker arms, Oof, yeah. 16 of the rocker arms. Need eight of the caps. Good, good, we're working it, we're working it. Two scoop covers. Um, I think serpentine, is it belt A? Um, nope, there it is. A and B, overhead valve, yep. Spark plugs in there. I am gonna need a starter. Intake. And that uh, water pump, supercharged fan or supercharged belt. Definitely gonna need that. Uh, timey chain, timey chain, time chain. <clears throat> uh, where's my cover at? There we go. Uh, push rods. We're gonna need 16 of these. Suckers, water pump, water pump pulley. You know, I think I got the. Did I get the water pump pulley from up here? It's a supercharger. Don't remember if I picked it up or not. Um, my mind is going away. Let's go over to the bar boost shop. Engine all. Oh. Alternator, uh, camshaft for the overhead. Right there. Uh, two carbs. Gotcha. A um, couple sets of heads. Yep, yep, yep. Fuel filter. Ignition coil, distributor, cap, wires. Um, man, is that okay? We've got pistons. Eight of those. Power steering. Spark plug. You'll be impressed if I got all these parts memorized, right? Um, gearbox. Pressure plate, pressure plate, flywheel, and we'll head back over and get touch release bearing. Um, we'll go ahead, might as well go down here and get the transmission while I'm at it. All right, let's see what I have missed. Be a quick build. Filter. This is not the way you would want to build this engine, but um, this is very quick. Yeah, I had bought that. I thought I did. I didn't get the rotor. What the hell? I totally skipped that. Um, How did I skip that? I missed that piece. Failed. I have failed in my mission there. Okay, put the 
clips on, and then we're gonna flip this bad boy over. I'll go ahead and put that belt on. Alright. You know, during this quarantine, you guys have got to have seen some movies. So, talk to me. Talk to me. What did you see? What have you rented? What have you bought? Um, what's good out there? Let me know. Hit me up. Throw me some comments down there and let me know what you thought was pretty good during quarant during this quarantine. Um, is there a series that you're binge watching? Later, let me know that too. Um, watched a couple of series. Well, I'm trying to watch it with my wife, but um, one of them was The Crown. That was, that was pretty good um, on Netflix. Another one was uh, uh, Frankie and Grace. So. Or Grace and Frankie, I think it is. Pretty funny show. Uh, Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. Quite the characters they play. Especially Lily Tomlin. Awesome. Just awesome. Um, check it out. If you have Netflix... Netflix... <laughs> I can't talk. If you have Netflix, check it out. And we're going to try... It. We're trying to get this engine built as quickly as possible. It, you know... One of the key points is, you know, being able to get all the parts. If I didn't have to go back into the shop one last time, that would have been helpful. Definitely, for sure. And this is upside down. I'm... <laughs> Maybe I should flip this over. This looks totally ridiculous. Come on, one more. I did click on it. I swear I did. Let's put the spark plugs in there first. I like these engines. These are just they just they seem very time consuming to build. But then again, those boxers are pretty time consuming. You start off with a crankshaft and a couple of pistons. Holy crap. They're actually fun to build, but man. Take a little bit of time too. Yeah, I've streamed so much this time around that uh, I kind of went over my data and <laughs> for my uh, cable. So that's probably the first time that's happened in, in forever, or ever, I should say. It's never happened, so it's the first time that it's ever happened. Uh, I mean, it's absolutely crazy, honestly, because of just everything that's going on. Everyone's all cooped up on the inside, so we're just binge-watching anything and everything we get our hands on. Uh, talk about being bored. All right, let's put that on there. Oops. I don't know what I just did, but wow. I almost face-planted myself into that. Yeah, might as well put them on here as I go. Alright. Um, got all that situated. Um, got to get that belt on. Almost done here. Almost done, and we will take Mad Max and give her the old paint job it deserves. Wires on. Or just get the wires in and out of the way. Coming down to the close. Now I like the way Gully always got this set up because the headers run right into, I believe, the exhaust system that's part of the body. So that's pretty cool. I like the way that's set up.
No need to hoard gas these days. It's kind of cheap anymore. All right. Um, we are done. We are done. We are done. Yes, we are. Let's take it off there. Let's stick it in the car. And you can go away. Look at that huge, humongous engine in there. It sticks up pretty far, doesn't it? Heck yeah. Alright, let's throw some oil in it. We'll get this transmission drive shaft assembly done, and we're going to get it completed. Thank you for hanging with me. Um, I hope you enjoy the other series I've got kicked off, the uh, Rot to Rad series. I'm hoping you're enjoying that. Um, thinking I'm probably going to end up doing that about every Tuesday, I think. Um, if I can get one recorded over the weekend, that might be the plan that I go with. Okie dokie, I think, um, I think that's it. Oh, I need, um, I don't need any of this stuff. Or that, um, do need a set of plates. Do I have Australia on here? Uh, Outstra Australia, there we go. All right, Mad Max. That works for me. It's kind of plain for Australian plates. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit. What? I am not liking that at all. You guys from Australia, you've got to be mad about that. That's just just a, it's just an ugly looking plate. I would be I would be offended. I tell Red Dot to you know fix that crap. red letters it's not even half it's it's not even centered jeez all right let's see what we got here all black yes um what are our delivery choices oh we have uh yeah that's in bad shape and this is another one so what do i want oh that's a template nope don't want that i think i'm just going to go let's see here Let's see what the other one looks like. I think the other one just looks the same, just a little bit lighter. It's kind of rusty and lighter. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to stick with golly walks. I think, I think gollies is, uh, I think I like it more. Let's uh, throw some numbers down. Let's go see what this bad boy Tear up. Nine hundred thirty eight horsepower with twelve hundred eighty six pounds of torque. Holy. Okay, that's some serious torque coming from that thing. Um, I'm sure Max will love it. So there we have it. Thank you again for hanging with the kind of tripped over the fan. Um, thanks for hanging with me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Mad Max. This is a long overdue car that we should have done <laughs> time and just we should have done this a long time ago. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know down in the comments section. And, um, I mean, hit me up. Throw some comments. Give me a like if you would like the video. And if it's your first time here, hey, hit subscribe. It's free. And I'd love to see you here. Until next time. Hope you guys keep customizing. Source Quasar is saying, I am out.